We ready to kill it today? There is absolutely no weight. It's all body weight and it's a completely different format than we're used to too. We're gonna have two different formats in the same class. But it's a lot of cardio, a lot of speed work, and I'm pretty freaking excited about it. I'm not even gonna lie. So go ahead and turn your activity trackers on right now and let's jog in place. I can't see my paper. Our whole house is just sick. It feels like it's been sick forever. And I am done with it. And I am singing. And it is Monday. Right? You guys can't even do that. It's so funny. We got five more seconds. We're gonna switch to butt pickers. In three, two, one. So come all the way up to the butt here. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. 10 more seconds. Uh, 30 seconds feels wicked right now, right? Monday. All right. Stop right here. We're gonna hinge at the hips. One hand over the other. Go to the middle right here. Straight legs. Hinge at the top. Go to the right foot. Straight legs. We're going hamstring stretchies. Yeah. Go ahead and start pulling those abs in. You know you gotta. You know I'm gonna say. All right. Let's touch the toes. Opposite foot. Opposite hand. Nice. Yay. Fun times. Kiki's here. There's toys everywhere. We're organizing our whole house. It's taking us two years to move in here, I swear. We have little kids. Things just take a little bit longer, right? All right, now let's go squats to the top of the knee. A little bit out of order today than what we normally do. I've already taken three naps today. I'm not feeling that awesome either. <clears throat> One of those things are just lingering, I think. 10 more seconds. Nice work. All right, come right here. We're going torso rotations back and forth. All right, so the format. 60, 45, 30, 15. First move, 60 seconds. Second move, 45. I think you get the point. There are no breaks in between these moves, okay? At the end of the fourth exercise, we do get a break. Then we do it again. All right, you can stop. We go through them twice. Then we're gonna have a little bit of a strength circuit, which is 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. You get a 30 second break and you go through it again. Then we're gonna do another 60, 45, 30, 15, two times through, and then an ab for two times, 30, 30, 30. Right? All right, you ready? All of its body weight, the first move are plyo lunges. So it's 60 seconds, but we're gonna divide it between the two legs, okay? We are going through it twice, so if you wanna do one leg all the way through, you can, okay? Plyo lunge looks like this, right? Then we're going to sumo jumps. So feet are wider than hip width and we're just jumping right here. Then we go to catchers, which are down here. We're coming forward, hands up. Blank, hands up. Then we have high knees. Are we ready? Let's make sure our mic's still on. It is, probably wanna get a drink. I brought iced coffee. Everybody always asks me, what pre-workout do you drink? Iced coffee. I'm gonna put in a bunch of chemicals in there. Got me some antioxidants, some real raw milk, and I'm ready to rock. Okay, plyo lunges. So if you're picking one leg, 
stay with it. I'm gonna tell you 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Ready, let's go. Yeah. So we're at the 45 second mark. Right? Everybody's like, one minute. That's crazy. All right. Go ahead and swap. Other leg. Welcome to swap, won't you? I know I do. Awesome. All right, you have 15 seconds left. Chest up, leg back, little hop at the top. Three, two, one. All right, legs wide, right? Actually, I'm giving you 10 second breaks. I lied and said there was no breaks in between. 10 second breaks. All right, here we go. Sumo jumps. That sure was nice to me. Yes. This does feel like death, but you're going to do it, right? Tiny little sumo hops. The abs are staying in, the quads are staying on fire. Listen, you can also do this right here. Lift those heels up. 15 seconds, you get a 10 second break. Woo wee, here we go. Five seconds left. And time. All right, going to catchers. We go plank first, bring the feet up. High fives at the top, here we go. Back. High fives. You got it, 10 seconds. Five seconds. And time. We have high knees to the end. Five seconds left. Here we go. High knees. And time. A nice little 30 seconds. We start that again. Yeah. Go ahead and keep moving. What's up, kitty? Heart rate went up quickly then, right? Here we go. Plyo lunges, ready? Let's go, pick a leg. Picked my bad leg first. Not that it's bad, it's just awkward. <laughs> my least balanced leg. Still, after years of training. We're about to change. One up, back. Let's go, other leg, if you're switching. Good job. Let's do it. Go. 15 seconds left. I'm gonna give you a whole minute's rest after this. All right, time. We're going back to sumo jumps. Feet are coming out past your hips. Turn those toes out. Sink that booty back. Little jumps right here, let's go. Good 
You got it. 30 seconds. Let's go. Abs in. Chest up. Kitty, you want me to open the door? I'll open it for you. Hold on. We have catchers next. Maybe you don't want to think about that. Eight seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right, catchers are next. Here, kitty. All right, give me a good plank to start with. Here we go. Let's go. Hands up. Feet back. Hands up. Ten seconds. Tell me these don't hurt. And time. All right. High knees. Ready? Let's go. Five seconds. All right. It's only six minutes, 40 seconds, right? Yikes. Next. 30, 30, 30, 10. Well, it's usually 10. It's not 30. You get a 30 second break. All right. So we're going to push ups. You can do any kind of push ups you want, okay? Knees, toes, incline, decline, your choice. The shoulders have to be over the wrist, forehead down, okay? Push ups. Then we have, we're coming up to plank position. We're going elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Right after that. Then we go to plank, front raise. Hand up, other hand up. Are we ready? Two times for real. Let's do it. Oh, let's make sure I gave it. Yep, that was definitely a whole minute. Oh boy. Starting with those push-ups, okay? Wrists under the shoulders. Here we go in two, one. Push up. Breathe through it. Pull those abs in, forehead down. Nice. How many miles I've lost this year? Probably not as many as last year. I had a lot to do this year, but I'm kind of wondering now. You ready? All right, now, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Come on. This is the one that does not have breaks in between it. So you can do it from your knees or you can do it from your toes. Your choice. We're gonna work those shoulders. We're gonna work those abs. Right? Right. Two seconds. Give me one more here. Come to the top of your plank. Hand out. Put it down. Other hand. Put it down. Hand. Down. Once you get to this point, you're like, oh, really? Am I even in the correct position anymore? If you don't know, drop to your knees, reset. And time. We're going through that one more time. Yes, 30 whole seconds right here. Then we're gonna go into our second 60, 45, 30, 15. I love them. I love this, it's quick, it's easy, get your heart rate up makes you feel like you've accomplished something. I love resistance training. Don't ever forego that. If you have the choice, cardio resistance training, we're going resistance training. But right now we're gonna do some push-ups. Right, this is resistance right here. Body weight, 
boom. Now listen, if you're having a hard time with push-ups, go all the way to the bottom. Push up. Then go all the way to the bottom. Push up, right? Nice. Sand everywhere. Woo wee. It's gonna record outside, but we know what happened last time. All right, here we go. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Abs are in. We really have two sets of core work in this workout today. Here's the second set of 30-30-30. It's all core. Five seconds. Four. This second took forever. All right, here we go. Hand out, bring it back. Hand out, bring it back. Hand out, bring it back. Good job. Bring it right back underneath that shoulder. And time. So that was three minutes, 40 seconds, okay? We're getting close. Going back to that 60, 45, 30, 15. So first up, we have squat jack. Then we have mountain climbers for 45 seconds. Then we have lunge jumps and then soccer kicks. All right. You have about 30 seconds left till we get to that point. Grab a drink, do a mental lap around your mat, whatever you need to do. I started a new program for myself tomorrow. Continuing education. I'm trying to make sure that I always have the good stuff for you. Right? All right. We have squat jacks first. Squat jack looks like this. Or you're going here if you're modifying. Right? Ready? Let's go. Chest up. You guys check your heart rate while you're doing this. Let me know. <coughs> Almost choked on my skin. Caught it. Halfway there right now. Stay in it. Fifteen seconds left. Keep in it. Keep in it. And time. Good job. Come on down for mountain climbers. Now listen, if you don't do mountain climbers on the ground, you can stand here and do this. But come on. Here we go. Let's go. Mountain climbers right here. Wrists are under the shoulders. Bringing those knees. Now listen, you don't have to turn it into cardio, right? You can just bring the knee up. Just like this if you need to. Right? Ugh. 20 seconds. So itchy. 15 seconds. Do what you gotta do to finish. These are hard. We can do it, 10 seconds. You can always take a little break right here. Come right back, five seconds. DMX says get it on the floor. Time, lunge jump. I am so much better at things like lunge jumps and squat jacks. Here we go, lunge jumps. Forward lunges if you're not a jumper. Chest up, shoulders back. Ten seconds. 
five, two, one. Where'd my thing go? All right, soccer kicks. So the bottoms of the shoe come to the insides of the knees. Ready, here we go. 15 seconds. Time. We're going through it again. When I check my heart rate, it was 116, now it's 148. Lots of studies coming out now that VO2 max is a much better indicator of heart disease and heart issues than cholesterol, LDL, all those. So pay attention to that. Make sure yours is good. Squat jack. Also research it for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. All right, mountain climbers, one of my least favorite exercises on the planet. Hate, hate, hate. All right, plank position. I don't know why I hate them so much. I just do. I think I hate anything in a plank position, which is crazy because I'm a TRX teacher and we spend a lot of time <laughs> in a plank position. Forward plank. Floor planks, moving that active plank around. 15 seconds. Don't lean back. You're gonna wanna lean back. Trying to get to child's pose. Don't do it. Five seconds. Time. For the record, I also drink salt water. That's a pre-workout, not just call. Lunge jump, ready? Love them. 20 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, soccer kicks. Coming at you in 10 seconds. Here we go, soccer kicks. Time. Okay, we have one more round of 30, 30, 30. It's all abs, it's all core. We did these Friday. That won't make sense to you if you're not doing them in order. So I will say on this particular challenge, we just practiced these on Friday. We're doing this, move out of the way. Let's go ahead and put it on the right timer before I click the OK button again. And we're doing this for two and a half minutes. All right, so hands are going behind the head. We're going left leg only right now. We're putting tension through the abs. We're bringing both feet up. We're leaving the right leg bent with the knee over the hip. We're 
Full extension through the left, bring it back. Full extension through the left, bring it back. Next 30 seconds, we're going down full extension, up over the top, down and over, okay? We're gonna scoop. Then for the last 30 seconds, we're coming up to a hollow body hold. Got it? Oh, wish that part would pop. All right, left leg only. Hands behind the head. Go ahead, lift the shoulders, knees over hips. Full extension down to the floor, bring it back. I wonder, there's an article of clothing I own that doesn't have paint on it. Pull that belly button down to your spine. Go wide through those elbows. You have five seconds right here. Bring it back. All right, now scoop it out, up and over. So in the next round, we're gonna do the right side or the other side, whichever side you did not just pick. Halfway. I know, but listen, all I want for Christmas is abs. We're gonna do some Pilates. Come on up. Hollow body hold right here. Listen, you can drop and reset if you need to. I get it. Hold it if you can, 10 seconds. Somebody says, hey, my quads are on fire. Yep. Time. Go ahead and take that 30 second break. We're doing the other side next. I am so sweaty today. Anyone else? Go ahead and stretch too if you want. Just a little bit of a stretch here. I think I spent my entire life trying to get my back off in that just perfect way. All right, go ahead, hands behind the head. Yep, it's coming. Knees over the hips, lift the chest. All right, extend, right leg this time. We're going down. If you need to, you can drop this foot, okay? I encourage you to hold them up if you can. Wide through the elbows, neck hurts, tongue in the top of the mouth. I'm excited about my new program. All right, go the other way. The girl that I'm working with, she's a true champion. And I firmly believe the only way to level up in life is to pair yourself with somebody you think is so much better than you. Somebody that you can learn from, right? Four seconds. All right, come on up. Maybe you need a little tiny five second break right here to get yourself together. All right, hold it. No, she's great. She really is, and I'm looking forward to working with her. She's like real common sense about everything. I think a lot of times we try to make everything so hard and so scientific and blah, 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 and it's like, you know how I feel. Consistency is key, first of all. Time. Go ahead and stretch all the way out because you deserve it. I hope you have some nice cool air coming toward your face. It feels like heaven. all the way out. Go ahead and sink those ribs to the ground if you can. Pull that lower back down. Oh yeah. Grab those knees. You can go wide through the knees. We usually pull straight in, but go wide. Stretch through those hips. If you want to grab your toes and go happy, happy baby. I mean, puppy baby. They do the same thing. 
All right, close those knees, drop one. The opposite knee is gonna come across your body. Your shoulder's gonna stay on the ground if it can. Excellent. Now go ahead and bring those knees in. Drop the other side. I'm working on being proactive this week. I feel like drop that other knee across the body, leave the shoulder down if you can. Instead of leaving stuff for tomorrow, I'm trying to, to do what I can today to make tomorrow easier. It's like I'm trying to get into a habit of doing that. I have seasons of my life where my life is like that. And then I have some where I'm literally just like running after everything, trying to like pick up the pieces and put them back on the shelf as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> oh boy, knees back into the chest. And just sometimes it's like that, you know? Alright, go ahead to one side. Come all the way up into tabletop. We're gonna tuck those toes, come up into downward facing dog. Ah, that feels good. Now drop the heels, walk the hands back toward the feet, touch the tops of the toes, roll it all the way up. Roll those shoulders up, down, and back. Take one hand across the chest, pull anywhere but the elbow joint, please. And other side. So we have two more workouts in this series. And then we have a tiny break, and then we come back for Christmas abs. I'm gonna call them Christmas abs. Hope I have abs for Christmas. Hope I'm not gonna cover them all up with banana bread. <laughs> we will see. All right, roll those shoulders up, down, and back. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you to all the people who have done every single one of these challenges. I really do appreciate it. And for keeping me motivated and wanting to keep back, coming back and doing this. And I will see you Wednesday. All right, bye.